Hey guys, it's Jay Hart and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry that the audio is different. I left my mic downstairs because I moved everything upstairs and I and I now film in my living room. Full disclosure for my past video and this one coming up. Actually, I do not support Jeffree Star Cosmetics anymore. I don't support him anymore or anything. So if you see his mirror in my pad, like in my video that I just passed, that just passed, my past video, it was not intentional. I was not trying to promote his brand or anything like that. I do not support him. I just have like, this is like the only mirror I have up here because the other things are still downstairs in the basement. Okay y'all, so the look I'm going for is like I'm redoing the first ever makeup look I've ever done ever, like ever, for my Instagram right here. Um, I just want to see, like you know, just redo it, like, cause that was nine months ago from when I first started makeup. I've been doing makeup for nine months. That was nine months ago, and I just want to show, like, today's. That was like last November, but I just want to show, like, me now, how I would, you know, like how my makeup would look. So. That's what I'm about to do, which that is like a cut crease with the wing using my very old Modern Renaissance palette. But y'all know like this is my Ride or Die palette, the Morphe 35O. Like y'all can see that it's like very used and abused. Start off using Love Letter right here. Using Love Letter on a angled wing liner brush. I'm just going to be sketching out my crease. So I'm going to be taking a pointed brush, pointed definer brush, and I'm going to be taking red ochre. I'm sorry, no, but red ochre. I think that I'll just dip in that. Right? Yeah, red ochre. And I'm just going to be buff it out that Venetian gray line. Now, taking warm taupe right here, I'm about to just buff that out a little bit up. It's okay if you get it messy because we just about to go back and fix it anyway. So it don't really matter. So I'm gonna be taking a little Venetian red and love letter on a brush, a Zoeva Lux pencil brush. And I'm just gonna be kind of placing some more pinkish color right underneath that taupey color we put on top of here. This is, is going to be like a pinky look because that look back in the end was like a pinky look. And I do crack creases way different now. Just going to be taking a regular brush and I'm going to be blending all of that together. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of that full coverage foundation on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to be snatching underneath that cut crease. I'm taking a little bit of Coley Airstorm powder and just setting. So this is my first time trying this liquid liner. Just doing this eye on camera and then I'm doing this eye off camera, so. Also, if y'all don't notice, like, one of my eyes are different from the other let me show y'all we are very up close and personal and i'm just going to show you guys like what i'm talking about when i say that my eyes are different so i'm looking straight ahead right 
like as y'all can see right here right here has more a of a fold on it like look at this eye. like this eye like okay I have for the eyes but this eye is like the fold is going kind of down so the wings that I do on this eye are different from the wings that I can do on this eye if I do this kind of wing on this eye it will hide my liner up under the fold and that's something that I will probably get fixed like myself like in the future like I'll probably get a little bit of Botox just to raise this up a little bit so I can do wings like this like nice nice kind of wings like this on this side but my wings are never going to match they're never going to be even until I get this kind of raise or fix with the little Botox so just a head heads up so I'm going to pop on some lashes and uh, and do this side and I'll be right back. I'm going to take my Benefits Professional Primer. Now I'm going in with my Healthy Elixir Foundation. Y'all like this is a really good match like for real. I did a good job. I like for real, I really did a good job with this match. And the reason why this, like, I don't know, like, the sides of my face is kind of dark. I don't color correct those because I don't bronzer anyway. So that just adds, like, definition to my actual face anyway. So. I'm gonna take the rest of that on my forehead. So far, it looks so pretty. Like, I'm looking, like the camera's gonna make it look different, but I'm looking in the mirror, and it's a pretty good match. Like, Hat on the back for me, y'all, because the past looks have been looking crazy. Going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Pure Beige. If y'all wondering where y'all can find these, y'all can find these at the beauty supply. And you want to blend it out just like that. Y'all see that? I'm focusing it all right in the center. Y'all, I'm getting tired of this. Look at that. That's been back there like three times now. Like I've been putting the freaking full coverage foundation on top of that for like three times now. And I'm sick of it. This is my last time doing it. If it pops back up, Oh fucking way. I hate it like me, I'm filming. Like, this is like the YouTubers, the beauty gurus out here, or people that do makeup on YouTube. When y'all filming, like y'all tutorials or whatever, like, y'all lose something that was literally right, right next to y'all. This is Cody Airstorm powder, by the way. Let me turn this fan back on me, y'all. It's getting kind of toasty over here, okay? Seven smile lines. My beard, because I feel sweat coming. Woo, y'all. I'm looking like Casper. I wish I had some glitter. Can you do me a favor? Can you run down to the basement and give me a Devon style? I need my foundation powder. No, I don't. I look like Casper. Devon, not on camera. I look like a fucking ghost on camera. Cooler bronzer and Morphe 527 brush. Look, y'all. Like, I hit pan on my Hula bronzer. And I had this, like, can I be honest with y'all? I had this bronzer for like since last November. 
and I don't know, that was around the time when I first started doing makeup. So back then I wasn't into makeup like how I am right now. Like I, I don't know, I wasn't doing makeup like that because I was in school and I was kind of ashamed of doing makeup because, I don't know, I don't know why I was ashamed, but I was just ashamed of doing makeup for some reason. And I didn't want people to comment on it or anything like, when I was in school, like my RA, she would like say like, I look like a ghost and stuff like that because I would get found like foundations and stuff that's too light for me because I don't know like it was just because I was new to makeup and I didn't know my own skin tone I didn't know my undertones I didn't know none of that y'all for real I didn't know none of that and I was just kind of new to everything it's just like that you know and like it used to make me feel so insecure when she used to say that like oh you look like a ghost oh you this this that that bitch look at me now okay and i'm going to see her too i'm actually about to see her in august for the graduation for my uh friend's graduation um yeah so when she used to just say stuff like that like i don't know it used to just really get to me Okay, so I'm wearing a highlighter. I'm wearing Primavera from from the Modern Renaissance palette. I think this might be like a really like like perfect like color for my highlight because I ran out of from Melange Cosmetics. I ran out of um, Sparkle Beige, and she's supposed to be sending me a full size one. But this highlighter, like, I think this paired with Sparkle Beige would be, like, so, in the meantime, I'm about to be taking Red Oak and Venetian Red. I'm going to take that underneath my lash line. Ooh, like that right underneath my lash line. Perfect. And I'm going to be taking Primavera Color in my inner corner. I'm going to be putting it on my brow bone as a brow bone highlight. Oh my god. Where has this eyeshadow been all my life? Like, look at this. Rinse my face with some water and that concludes today's video guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I will catch you guys in my next video which is going to be Friday. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that and peace out.